Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth episode of the EG Project Build, where we're going to be finalizing the case swap. I managed finding an SI lip from Honda. I had actually quite a few in stock, uh, but that's one of the first things I wanted to do for looks, is just put a lip on it, and that's it. And I wanted the lip to be OEM. For the new brake system, we're going to need hard lines to connect the proportioning valve to the new master cylinder. I've gone with stainless uh, just for its looks. It's a lot harder to manipulate uh, than steel. Along with the brake lines, I'm doing some hard lines and brackets for the fuel system. For flaring the brake line, if you use a parts store flare tool, you're going to end up with inconsistent flares. So I've gone with an Eastwood flaring tool, which gives you consistent results. This is no cut shifter from Hybrid Racing. I ordered it because I didn't want to chop up the interior and I wanted an inconspicuous look. It did need some tweaking, the springs were really loud on it. So I did some research on how to silence coil springs. I ended up sticking foam in the center of them and putting heat shrink tube around the outside of them and it shut them right up. I think I looked up extension spring silencing. I found these JDM corner lights from Checkered Sports on Instagram. Brand new in box to replace those ugly North American corner lights. To keep the look right, I went with the Spoon Street Type Muffler. It's only an axle back. Uh, the B pipe actually wasn't available at the time, so I used a used Apex B pipe and made my own resonated test pipe. The center resonator is a muffler from Vibrant Performance. It's called the Ultra Quiet. This is my favorite part of the build, and it was also the hardest part to find. I scoured Yahoo auctions for months. I ended up finding it on Instagram, in Thailand, and boy am I happy. And no, it's not Spoon. I introduce to you the Zeal Racing Seat. The Kevlar pattern, or the weave on the back, may be different between the two. But the shape is identical. Also the fabric is different. The fabric used on the spoon seat, you know, is the water whip wicking material, whereas this is the traditional Recaro style material. Also we have a spoon six-speed shift knob along with billet ASR hub, Momo Monte Carlo in 350mm to complete it. Um, the Momo Monte Carlo is all black with no red stitching uh, because uh, there's no red stitching on the interior so I want to keep it kind of stock looking so I went all black. For the front of course we went with the spoon brakes goes with the spoon coilovers some energy suspension bushings uh, skunk 2 front camber kit 
And also you'll note that I'm running 4 lug 4x100. Um, I'm using SRV rotors redrilled to 4x100. I'm really picky about it, I just wanted 4 lug, uh, it looks proper on the car. And I went with OG T37s in flat face 16x7 plus 42 as it just looks right on the car and that's the era theme I was going for. Couple new things for the bay to clean it all up. Brand new valve cover from Honda and a spoon oil cap. Even with 50,000 kilometers, the outside of the car is going to need a little restoration. First we're going to remove the fender molding and the pinstripe. And to do that, we're using a rubber wheel on a drill. Crazy thing about this uh, build was, once I plugged in everything, the car started right up. Uh, it started first, pretty much first try, once I got fuel. So anyone looking to do a Euro R case swap, um, I just wanted to add that uh, it's pretty much a Z3, K20 Z3 motor on the outside. Uh, everything, even the transmission, everything from a Z3 uh, that you can buy from the store will fit onto this engine. So uh, keep that in mind when you're working on your Euro R. If you guys like that video, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions in regards to that Euro R swap, you can message me directly on Instagram with it's with three O's, it's Wooster, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.